Hi Libra, welcome to this reading. So we have leadership. So again, this is for your past life. Um, overcoming difficulties. We have indigo and crystal children. All is well. And we have relationship harmony. Okay, so I can already see in the um, in your past life or over past lifetimes with your person, there have been some struggles here, but it was for the reason of, okay, so growth, um, growth experience through struggle to help position you both to be ready for some kind of leadership position. Um, this says it's time for you to assume your leadership power and position and lovingly guide others. So I feel in past lifetimes, you and your person, you know, this is not a new journey by by any sort of stretch of the imagination. And it looks like you've already had situations in which you've had separations, you've had to grow, you've come together, you've had to overcome things together because you already in past lifetimes have been providing some kind of leadership to other people. Now, what really stands out to me is indigo and crystal children. You have a bond with children. In particular, you can help children who are sensitive. This stands out to me because I can't really place it. it. I don't think this is talking so much about healing and leading children. I don't even feel like it's talking about the inner child. Definitely I'm drawn to the, the indigo and crystal elements of this. So being very spiritually awakened. In past lifetimes, you may have both felt um, that you were quite different from the people around you. And that's probably one of the things that brought you together in the 3D, a feeling of um, recognition of home. Let me know if this makes sense to you. This feels incredibly important, but at the same time, I am struggling to understand exactly how it fits in. So I'll probably clarify with tarot. But for now, I'm just going to leave this here because it's so interesting that it feels like the key to what we're seeing here, but it's kind of elusive as well. We have all is well and we have relationship harmony. So I'm seeing in past lifetimes, whatever the struggle was um, that you overcame, oh, sorry, whatever the struggles were that you were going through, you did manage to overcome. So karmically, I feel in this lifetime, it's not so much that, for example, you did this to them, they did that to you, and now it's balancing out. I think you've already you know, you've been through so many lifetimes together that you've already done this balancing out across lifetimes. So let's say in one lifetime, you were the perpetrator, they were the victim. In the next lifetime, you switched roles. I think you've been doing this lifetime after lifetime. And, you know, to the point where in previous lifetimes, you have already balanced this karma out. So you might be thinking, well, why aren't we together now? Well, we'll get to that when we're looking at your current lifetime. But I feel you, this is, this is like, um, this is familiar to you. You've already got to a point in previous lifetimes in which you came together, you overcame difficulties, you had relationship harmony and you led others. So before we go on to your other oracle cards, let me pull some tarot around this indigo and crystal children message. Okay, let's see. We have the Knight of Wands. Um, judgment. We have the devil in the reverse. So with the devil, this is very big energy. Um, something you may have both felt very attached to. Judgment we know is about hearing a wake up call. Um, and I feel with the Knight of Wands, there's actually travel here, physical travel across, you know, across the land, um, across seas, that sort of thing. I mean, this could be inspiring others, waking up, um, you know, helping others to wake up, to shake off the bind, you know, of, of their own paradigm, their 3D reality, helping to awaken their inner child. But again, that doesn't, this energy really feels huge. That explanation doesn't feel that it matches the energy that's coming through. I think, if I'm honest, frustratingly for me, I'm not going to be able to say exactly what this is, but I kind of also believe that for you, you're either going to intuitively understand what this is talking about or you're going to logically know, oh, it means this. So, you know, if if it makes sense and if you want to share, please do. But but I just think it's a big energy. And I also feel that 
I'm not going to be able to pinpoint exactly what that means. We have a new romantic cycle begins, step out of your comfort zone, and we have, oh, we have you are good enough, and we have believe in the impossible. There is something here in which, you know, in past lifetimes, at least the one we're being drawn towards, or the ones we're being drawn towards, you and your person were together in a 3D sense, and you were inspiring others to believe in the impossible through um, not just your words, not just your actions, but your journey, something about your journey, people could look at it, people knew about it, and it was inspiring to them. You know, if you're telling someone to believe in the impossible, it sounds like words, unless they can see that you have managed to do the impossible as well. So I'm seeing that, that you manage this, and I, I feel it's something you did together with this um, romantic cycle that we have here. We've got Libra energy, we have uh, Virgo energy as well. So maybe you're drawn to the energy of Libra and Virgo, perhaps, even if you don't have those in any of your placements in this lifetime. And step outside you, step out of your comfort zone. Again, that Knight of Wands, travel, something to do with this inner child as well. But look, believe in the impossible. I really feel that, that you obtain something here that in this lifetime, you might be asking yourself, is this possible? And spirit wants you to know, absolutely, because you've actually already done this. Okay, so we have intuition. This is the number 36. And it says, you are being guided to listen within for your guides um, and higher self to give you messages. They are desiring to communicate with you. Spirit is asking you to open your crown chakra and listen for them. Yep, okay. So this is all very spiritual, it's all very enlightened, it's it's reaching that point of enlightenment that you come to after, you know, you've done the inner work, you've been on a journey, a struggle internally, externally, and we have Anahata here, the um, heart chakra. It says this chakra is the centre point of all energy flow of both body and spirit. It powers the hand chakras and helps to balance the body's energy. Are you prone to hate, fear and revenge? Do you shut down when love and commitment is mentioned? Spirit is asking you to strengthen this chakra through self-love. And we have the number 27 here. Okay. So the heart and the crown. This feels like a very connected energy. The hands as well. There's some kind of work here, some kind of... It's almost like a pilgrimage or like mission work that you and your person went on and it came as it came at the end of you both having done so much inner work in that lifetime but previous ones as well and working things out between you both helping others to to step into their power You know, I wasn't expecting this at all. I mean, when we're talking about why, you know, what karma is playing out, we tend to think, well, you know, every action has a reaction. So what action did I take that's causing a reaction now? But this goes deeper than that. You've already played that sort of stuff out. For those of you that this is resonating with. Okay, can you give us some more messages, please? What happened in these past lifetimes or this past lifetime that you're drawing our attention to? Wow, two of wands, again, a card of expansion, travel, stepping outside of comfort zones. Okay, five of wands in reverse, two of wands. Six of swords, more travel, getting on a, a, a you know, a ship, driving somewhere on a boat, um, a train. We have the queen of pentacles. Five of cups. Four of Cups, Ten of Wands in reverse, Queen of Wands. Okay, and we have the King of Wands on the back. So now Tarot is taking us into the kind of the minutiae here and, um, you know, the, the situations. So, yes, one or both of you um, had options. You know, there was a choice here to make between someone else and each other. Now, ultimately, it shows that you chose one another and that this this having to make a choice was possibly one of the struggles that you had to overcome. This is a storyline that you will, many of you will be familiar with. It's like someone was committed um, 
and they have the home of finances, maybe the sort of um, status or reputation, but that wasn't the person they were happy with. This queen of wands, man or woman, male, female, this is the person they wanted. This is the person they could see growth expansion with. This is the person you know, that you or your person felt was, was their other half. We've got the king and the queen of wands. So let's see how this played out. There is a lot of fire energy here, Aries Leo Sagittarius. Okay, page of swords in the reverse. King of swords in the reverse, ten of swords in the reverse. And we have Temperance, Sagittarius. Leo, the Sun, Aquarius, the Star in reverse, the Page of Cups, the Hermit, Virgo energy here. More Leo, strength in the reverse. Okay, so what we're seeing here is um, someone was afraid to make a choice. Uh, someone knew what they wanted to do, um, but felt like they didn't have the strength. There was some communication here, but not too much. And the person who was afraid to make a decision spent a lot of time reflecting, going within, wearing a mask, trying to please other people, not trusting in their gut feeling. So... Speaking of, you know, the perpetrator and the victim, it could be that if you're experiencing this in this lifetime, you know, you're the person who's waiting to hear and you feel that your person is a bit quiet, it could be that the roles were switched. Maybe you had a choice to make in a previous lifetime and your person um, was the one who, who was waiting. But again, it, if I'm honest, it doesn't feel that way. That feels too obvious, too small for where you are in this connection. I don't feel we're at the end here. I feel like this is this is the situation. I feel like we need to say to see how this played out. Ace of Cups. Temperance again in the reverse. Nine of Coins. Yeah, absolutely. The balance, the balance here was upset. So someone, well. The person who was holding back saying, I, I don't want to rock the boat, but I'm not happy, but I'll stay where I am, temperance in the upright, I'll keep things how they are, decided, you know what, I need to go after this love, it's, it's too good to miss, I don't care if I upset the balance, and they became single. So, the person who was afraid to make a choice did stand up and make a choice, and that was one of their personal struggles, coming to a face of, of you know, tapping into that courage, that strength. Yeah, Queen of Coins in reverse, see? They left, whoever this was left their partner, most likely a spouse here, to be with the person who was their partner on a soul level, you know, that King and Queen of Wands dynamic. So, if I'm honest, you know, this, yes, this happened, um, but I don't think we're gaining anything new here. I think the reason Spirit is, is showing us this is to show you that if this is something you're experiencing in this lifetime, um, you've been here before you've already been through this you know so so know that you have this strength within you don't let this um feel like it's overpowering you because not only is it possible for this change to happen it has already happened and more than that you and your person have, have been on some kind of journey together already so if you're feeling pulled if you're feeling guided um you know, if you just have this feeling that you and your person have something to work on together or something to build together or, you know, you, you have this sense that when you come together, it's going to have a really positive impact on people around you. Spirit's saying yes, because it already has. Um, and your soul knows that and your soul kind of wants wants that back, you know, wants to, to carry on with that journey, that mission. Okay, so let's move over then. Let's see. So if you are in separation in this lifetime, why? Why, especially when you, you know, I feel that, that union has already kind of happened and your journey has begun. So what's going on at this, you know, now in this phase? So let me put the tarot away. Indigo and crystal children. I can't, I can't get away from that energy. You know, I mean, hmm, I wonder if it's something to do with a soul family, you know, like you have soul families, uh, you have a soul family, you reincarnate in different roles across lifetimes. 
the people you encountered, you and your, your person here, while you were doing this work together or on this journey together, inspiring others, you know, they might be part of your soul family now. And I wonder if it's about them coming forward in new incarnations and the ways in which or the roles you're taking on now. Maybe they're they're coming through as, as children in your life or um, people who are younger who you're meeting and leading or inspiring in some way um, or you feel a connection to them in some sort of way. Um, so, so, you know, these souls are incarnating now and they're coming across as very aware, very psychic um, young people or children. They could be your own children. They could be, um, you know, nieces, nephews. If you're a teacher, you could have some students in your class that, that just seem to sort of, I don't know, know what's going on with their classmates and you know kids who draw your attention to them and they seem to be more aware and more intuitive it could be that you had some kind of um uh, experience with them already in, in past lifetimes um but yeah i feel there's a way this needs to connect okay so let's have a look at your cards for for now so what's the purpose for, for the separation or the struggles any triggering and i want to know specifically why why are you in separation when you've already had this period of of being in union okay so let's have a look okay mm, how do i oh forgotten muladhara i think that's how it's pronounced maybe so this is the root chakra number 24 and it says the primal root chakra freely uh, flows freely when you feel stable and secure are your are your needs being met do you have child oh my god do you have childhood issues that need to be addressed spirit is calling you to release these issues and ground your energy so this very well may not be your childhood issues but again something to do with children we have infinite the number 44 so we've had 22 33 and now 44 our journey doesn't end here. We will experience many adventures. Open your perspective beyond the twin flame journey. This is a drop in the, mm, this is a drop in the bucket and spirit is asking you to take off the blinders and look around for more. Do you see what I mean? You're already so far along that at this point spirit saying your twin flame journey, your high vibrational, you know, soulmate journey, your your soul connection, there is even more now i know many of you are wondering about union but it's almost like spirit saying you don't realize you've already had union and you can have that again but for now we're trying to get you to see that this is even bigger than that you your energy yours and your person is even more expansive wow okay shedding skin the number 40 this journey to self is a rebirth. Everything changes from the food we eat to the thoughts we think. We moved from 3D consciousness into 5D consciousness. This transformation is beautiful. Spirit is asking you to trust the process. Okay, so one of the, the reasons for your maybe separation, um, for having to go within to heal, it, it, it's self-focus. It's your personal evolution here. We have ego. So yeah, you know, kind of a death of the ego maybe number 14 the ego will not go down without a fight and will lie and create illusions to keep us in lower vibration you are being called to see through this illusion and this is one of the connections we have the heart chakra again and it says light shining out of a crack in a hardened heart can become so bright that it lights the way out of the darkest places. Spirit is asking you to be grateful for the spiritual encounters you have, for the lessons outweigh the pain. So, there is something going on here with heart healing. Now, you are in a perfect position. Now, bear with me, this sounds weird, but you're in a perfect position to be able to go through these pains, you know, the, the heart chakra pain, and to help other people. Why? Because of the fact that in your previous lifetime here, or previous lifetimes, you sort of um, became a master actually of, of the, that connection, that very divine connection between the crown and the heart space. So you were very able to heal your heart, the heart of others. You were very able to understand your heart's calling. You know, you were very clear. You saw, um, you were able to understand your intuition very, very clearly. So in this lifetime, you might be saying, my heart has been broken. 
why does this keep happening you know why do i have to keep doing um this healing it's tiring it's exhausting and spirit saying because you are you are more than capable of doing this you know so um it it's always how can i explain it um and this by the way is the number one which is like the magician the self there is something here about you have already obtained what you have what you're looking for you have already obtained a level of self mastery union moving forward with your person your twin your soulmate you you've already had that and this feels like a pause you will have that again but for this particular moment right now spirit saying You've obtained this mastery with your person and, you know, in past lifetimes and helping others. But there's something here about your personal transformation. You're going even deeper. Maybe you're, you're digging down further, challenging your ego like never before, shedding old skin like never before. And the only reason, you know, the only reason you're going through these these heartbreaks right now or these feelings of, of disappointment, of separation is because you are able to, you can, you're strong enough that you are ready for this now. You know, the breaking down of the self, of the ego before you build back up. And it sounds, you know, it just sounds cruel, doesn't it? Well, just because you can, why should you have to? But because there's something even bigger, even more huge waiting on the other side. You know, you're tapping into this infinite energy now. Okay. We have brilliant idea, divine order, chakra clearing, and in, ooh, a new start is coming. A time to give rather than take. You and your loved ones are safe and a personal issue reaches conclusion. Okay, so let's start um, over here with these cards. Okay, so divine order. Yes, there is a divine order here. There is a plan, even if with these scales being a bit wonky, it just seems like sometimes things aren't fair. It doesn't make sense. You might be thinking about cause and effect, karma. It doesn't seem to balance out, but it really, really is, you know, um, maybe within lifetimes, but also across lifetimes as well. So this says everything is how it needs to be right now. Look past the illusion and see underlying order. So there is an element here where spirit is asking you to remember your intuitive ability, that natural um, knowing within you to keep pulling on that, to keep trusting that. Because when you're looking with your 3D eyes, it might not make sense. It's like I was saying, you know, just because your heart chakra is so strong, why should it have to be challenged? It doesn't sound like it makes sense. But the underlying reason is because you're really shedding this skin. So you and your person, because you're both mirroring one another here, can reach these insane levels of, of knowledge, of understanding, being so tapped in. You know, more than just coming into union and having, um, you know, elevated in the 3D and, and in the 5D as well. But I mean, this is this is kind of, you know, this almost feels beyond what we commonly talk about and hear about and, and see in readings. Um, you know, when we talk about Twin Flames and, and that kind of thing, this this feels even more advanced than that. Um, kind of mind blowing, actually. Okay, so we have brilliant idea. Yes, your idea is divinely guided. Please take action to bring your idea into fruition. So it might be that right now, through your struggles, through the separations, it's helping you to, to um, see something new within yourself or see something in a way you wouldn't otherwise have, have seen. And I'm drawn to the fact that this sort of looks like a unicorn here or has the... the I don't know, horn of a unicorn. So this is something unique and it is brilliant. And um, I think it's something you wouldn't have ordinarily stumbled upon or thought of or felt guided to do if you hadn't been on this exact particular journey um, that, you've, that you are going on in this lifetime. And maybe if you hadn't have had these periods of, of going into the darkness of going through this separation we have chakra clearing call upon me to clear and open your chakras using sacred geometric shapes so that's archangel metatron so this is a healing a clearing a balancing out for some of you you could be now strengthening your um solar plexus and sacral chakras here maybe that's going to serve you well you know your heart chakra your, your crown chakras are very strong and this is about birthing something um, being really connected to your own divine masculine energy here, um, creation, ideas, expansion, 
you know if let's say if you're watching this and you resonate as a divine feminine if you're already in union with your divine masculine maybe um you know you're coming together you're kind of filling in the missing pieces and, and that's fine but maybe spirit's saying in this lifetime it's time for you to both really come into union with yourselves um to really find your own divine feminine and divine masculine energies okay a new start is coming and this is what i feel you had union before and you will have it again and when you come together you will have these new ideas you would have shed this skin you know you you would have overcome some blockages that you were carrying with you in your ego and you will both be ready to tap into honestly some sort of energy here that that is almost beyond um most of us and it's certainly beyond the sort of thing that we we like i said we commonly talk about Okay, we have a time to give rather than take. You and your loved ones are safe. Okay, so while you're going through this period of expansion, spirit's really, really, again, trying to ask you to please keep leaning on your intuition, which is trying to tell you that your connection here with your person is safe. Even if it seems like there's a huge disconnect and everything has gone wrong, no, there is divine order. There is a reason for this. You know that there is a purpose for this. And we have a personal issue reaches conclusion or resolution rather. So for many of you in this lifetime, whatever this struggle is or, you know, this dark night of the soul or um, the separation that you're in, or if you keep, if you're stuck in a cycle of coming together and separating, it is going to um, resolve itself. So we have Virgo, Cancer, double Cancer here. Um, yeah, so maybe Virgo and the energy of Cancer um, resonates. Okay. Eight of Wands, Knight of Swords, Four of Swords. So I'm seeing that once you and your person have reached a level of um, enlightenment or understanding, or you've had this brilliant idea, whatever this is, whatever you're realizing, it can it can look different for each of you. Once you've you've sort of um, had this epiphany or, or whatever it is for you personally. It looks like there's movement, there's communication, it's very quick. Tell me about this Fall of Swords, please. But until then, we have this self-reflection. It feels like it's a slower pace. It feels, um, it feels kind of quiet. Yeah, Seven of Coins in reverse, Three of Swords, The Hanged Man. See, this is how it feels. This is how it looks right now. It looks like there's nothing happening. You've been waiting for ages. You're in pain, in heartbreak, and you're just strung up here waiting. And Spirit's saying, actually, we kind of wanted this to look and feel more like a time out for you, a time to have a reprieve, to have a rest, not to feel that you're being punished in some kind of way. We've got the nine of coins on the back. So this is about you feeling really good in yourself. Um, and if we look at this, if we take your past lifetimes that came through, and put it you know side by side with this we can see how it's not meant to be torturous you know if you already knew well i've already obtained union with my twin so i don't have to keep striving for that or i've obtained union with my soulmate so that's fine um and right now we'll just have a bit of time apart and we'll get some new ideas and then we'll come back together that feels easier doesn't it that feels it, it just feels soothing and it's like uh, you know you can breathe out you can relax because you know you know you're coming back together you're not fighting for something because you've already had it you already have it here um and that's kind of that's that's what spirit wants this to be like for you so when we get really caught up with how it looks in the 3d that's when it's really difficult because we don't know about you know oh in a past life we already did some mission work we were already together we're focused on the fact that we want to be together now which is very understandable. And I think the biggest thing right now to help you with this is, is your intuition. It's doing things like meditation, communicating with your person um, while you're in meditation if you can't communicate with them in the 3D. Okay, Seven of Cups in reverse, King of Swords in the reverse. Temperance. Queen of Wands, Nine of Swords in reverse. There's something 
might um, to do with your dreams here, your maybe at night or your daydreams, your desires. Um, something here is going to bring you some sort of clarity that's helping you get towards this feeling of enlightenment with this Four of Swords. It's almost like Spirit saying to invest, to give more time and to give more weight to your fantasies, your daydreams, your dreams at night. Let's see. Yeah, the Hierophant, because they're actually not as whimsical as they might seem. It's the complete opposite, in fact. We have Taurus energy here. And the Hierophant is a very, can be a very spiritual divine card. Hmm. So, is there a dream, a vision you have in your head that you keep replaying, or a dream, you know, when you go to sleep that keeps replaying? It might be trying to tell you something. Um, believe in the impossible. And remember, keep reminding yourself, you've already done this. You know, you've already seen impossible things happen it, with your person in previous lifetimes. So if you have your ideal fantasy with your person, you know, if that keeps replaying and you're saying, oh, that's great, but that's, I'd have to have a watered down version of that, you know, at least, or something like that. Spirit is saying, no, you, you don't have to, you can dream, you can really invest your emotions, your thoughts into whatever um, that dream is. We've got the Three of Cups, so that can be celebration, reconciliation moon in reverse another card of dreaming and the seven of wands so some of you are saying i'm not going to dream i'm not going to go there because my heart i have to protect my heart and you know as well if there's a third party energy here personal thing you might be saying no because it would be silly and i would just be setting myself up for failure for disaster so you're protecting yourself against your dreams because you feel like it's an illusion and the dreams create fear as nice as they are there's fear with that because what if i invest what if I believe it and it doesn't happen? So, you know, you might be thinking, well, Spirit's asking a lot of me to put my heart out there, to fully invest in my dreams, even with what I've already been through and the fear that it might happen again, you know, more pain. And the answer is yes, you really are being asked quite a lot. But the reason is because you this is the level you're at, you know, um, Again, this infinite energy in your previous spread that that children card was drawing me and this spread is it's this one. And the number 44, the number four, you know, the four of wands, 1111 union. This is this is really advanced stuff. Um, it, it is difficult. It's almost like, you know, if you're training, there, is, there are going to be several le levels in whatever you're training. The first one might be um, the easiest. It's where you get little tidbits of information here and there. And, um, you know, it might be the easiest to digest. But as you go up, you, you start to focus in more and more and more. And it gets more and more difficult to the point where people drop off, don't they? And then when you get to the top levels, there are very few people compared to at the start. And you are one of the few people at the top. And... Um, it's like, you know, climbing a mountain, you're right at the top here, and it's difficult, the air pressure, you know, it's difficult to get along with that, and you're tired, you're exhausted, and, you know, maybe there's like a storm around you and you can't see what's going on, but you are there, you're at the top. This is about faith. And there's no right or wrong answer, but, but one of the challenges here is in this lifetime, while you're in separation, is how much do you, or, or can you let yourself truly believe, have faith, trust in this, and, and, you know, it's almost blind faith, isn't it? Especially if you're seeing absolutely no movement, and everyone around you is saying, you need to move on, or this isn't, whatever, you know, people who are naysayers, or people who just sort of don't get it, um, do you still have faith? Are you, are you, do you still believe in this? Are you still willing to put in the work? Do you, look, I don't, you, you know what I'm trying to say. And like I said, there's no right or wrong answer. You, you don't have to do any one thing, but it, the message I'm seeing is, it's, it's, it's just about faith. <laughs> I wish I could sort of, 
you know, give you give you more. But divine order, trust the plan, fall back on your intuition. Um, you know, in a practical sense, yes, that you go through things like dark nights of the soul. Um, being triggered so you can heal wounds and you can look at your ego and ask yourself what are the, st are the stories i'm telling myself what's helpful what's keeping me limited you know all of those things yes that's true but on a really deep level this this journey right now has been difficult for you because it's it's like really intensive training pushing you to be you know without sounding dramatic to be one of the elites here so you are are ready to tap into this infinite energy you and your person so this is by no means easy um in fact i feel you've already you know you've done a lot of balancing out of karma you've come into union you've done some mission work and now we're leveling up even more Is there anything else for this infinite card, please? Six of coins in the reverse. Mm, yeah, four of coins, five of coins in reverse. Okay, do you know what I'm getting? This is no longer, you know, okay, so you know how we're in the 3D and if we need a time out, we can do a meditation and we can connect with our guide. We can tap into source energy, but it's in bits, isn't it? And then we come back to the 3D. The point you're getting to this leveling up, it's not going to be in and out of this infinite energy. It's not going to be I'm grounded and then I'm in my meditation and then I'm focused here and I'm focused there. It's going to get to the point where you are able to seamlessly and continually incorporate this higher vibration infinite energy with your um you know whilst being grounded whilst being present in the 3d so you are 24 7 very easily channeling um this this high vibrational energy with um whilst whilst you're maintaining um your connection to the 3d whilst you're grounded um and that, I mean, you can you can imagine the kind of power that would give you, um, and not not to use over others, but the power, um, insight, knowledge, foresight, power within yourself. We're talking about the energy of the mu the um, musician. <laughs> Maybe some of you are musicians, um, magician here. We're talking about alchemy. We're talking about someone who can literally say, "I'd like to manifest this," and then bam, there it is. So do you see why you're being pushed so much? And you can imagine if, you're, if your person, your twin, your soulmate is doing the same thing, just how powerful you're going to be together. So, yeah, I mean, I'm going to leave this here. This reading does, did not go where I thought it would or how I thought it would, but I'm hoping that it brings some understanding, some comfort, or if it brings up questions, you know, hopefully it helps to guide you in, in the next direction, maybe of research or of, of thinking about something here. Let me know, you know, what you think of this in the comments. Um, if some of the places that I can't fill in, if they make sense to you, or if, if you know, how you understand this and, and that sort of thing. Okay, so thank you for watching. Take care and I will be back tomorrow to see if there's anything that's hidden in your connection, anything you're not aware of at this time that it would help you to know. Okay, bye.